This doll, I'm going to call doll number two. It's marked on the back of the head I-8-0, made in Germany. It has a bisque socket head, blue glass eyes that are solid, they don't move, and it has a wig that has come unglued, and one shoe that needs repaired. And I'll show you the details here. So what happened was the shoe kept falling off on her. It, it's come apart right here. And the buckle came off, so I just stuck it on her dress with a pin. So that's why that's pinned like that. Now, I can't show you her legs because you can see here whoever owned her put a spot of glue here to hold the socks on. But there's part of the body there, the composition body. This one's glued on too. The uh, original outfit, this has to be the original outfit, it's a very good shape. Here's her hand and her other hand. Pretty good shape. And the face. This, this eye here appears to have a little bit of a, I don't know, crack or a flaw or something in it. Or maybe it's just dirt, I'm not sure. I don't like to mess with these dolls. Whoever buys them can do that. Here's a close-up of the face. She has an open mouth. Okay, now you can see on the back here, this one's smaller, it's about 12 inches. Um, you can see right here the clothes are stitched in place so I can't remove them to show you anything. Let me just show you the back again. Here's part of the leg. Here's part of the leg. I mean, everything seems to be intact. Here is the marking on her. I. And then the 80. And then down here you can see it says uh, Germany. Here's the inside of the head. There. Um, this doll, her wig fell off. Here's her wig. It just needs re-glued, but I did not want to do that. And then there's the back of the wig. This doll will be sold at auction on September 15th. I have three German dolls that I'm selling. This is number two. It'll be sold September 15th at the West Fairfield Auction Barn by Kathleen Mack, auctioneer. If you have any questions, just uh, send me an email or give me a call. This is advertised on auctionzip.com, ID number 19056. Thank you.